Good afternoon folks, it's Mark here from Street Effects and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about catalytic converters. Now, uh, you've all probably got a mate or you may have even done it yourself, but everybody always seems to go and straight pipe their cars saying that it's going to give them the best power. Um, and what I'm going to try and do today is work out exactly how much power, if any, a catalytic converter will rob. Now this is a X-Force high flow cat. Um, now this is a hundred cell, so they do come in different variations. So if you get a peek through there, you can see this sort of a honeycomb layer. So this is a restriction in your exhaust, uh, but what we want to try and find out, uh, how much restriction it actually is, and will it rob you of any horsepower? Um, to see if it's going to, we're using our 850 wheel horsepower Toyota Supra JZA80. Um, now this car is our project car. It's got a whole heap of goodies on it. Um, makes good power. It's a very hot day today though, so we're actually detuning it um, down to around 25 psi. Usually we can run around 33 psi, but because it's so hot, um, I think it's nearly 40 degrees here in Australia today. Um, so we're going to be sort of turning it down a little bit, and that's still going to be making somewhere over 800 horsepower at the engine, which is going to still give us plenty of indication as to whether a catalytic converter is going to rob us of too much power. Now, if you're interested, the way catalytic converters work, if you look in there, I'll go out into the sunlight so you can have a bit of a look. Inside, you see that honeycomb there? That's a ceramic honeycomb coated in precious metals like palladium, rhodium, and platinum. So that's why people go around stealing catalytic converters uh, and why they're generally so expensive to buy. The catalyst itself, the reason it's got the ceramic on there is so that it can get up to a ridiculously hot temperature. Then the precious metals that are in there, they react with the noxious gases, nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide, which is all the nasties that uh, go out of your engine and unburnt fuel, hydrocarbons, all that sort of stuff. Normally they would go straight out your exhaust pipe. Now, it's not a good thing. The more of that that comes out of everybody's exhaust, the worse it is generally for the environment. But most of us performance guys probably don't really give a shit about that because we want our car to go faster. Another thing you guys may be familiar with if you're running a car with no cat, um, especially if you're running a 98 or normal premium unleaded, um, E85 is not so bad, uh, but 98 fuel um, and other normal unleaded uh, ends up stinking um, if you don't have a catalytic converter. Uh, so if you're going out on a date or if you're generally going to a meeting or something, you'll end up getting there stinking like fuel. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to fit this to our car. Right now, um, we've got a, a two different exhaust systems for this car. The exhaust themselves are the same, however, this little section here, we've got one test pipe that was made up by MDS Fab and this X-Force Performance High Flow Cat as well. So this will slot straight in. Um, first test we'll do is with it without a catalytic converter and to get a baseline to see just how much power it makes without it. Uh, and then we will throw the high flow cat on and see whether or not it makes any difference. So first up on the dyno will be the test pipe or decap pipe, which Mark was putting on now. And we won't drive it on the road like this because this is illegal. No. That's silly. Is it like a $15,000 fine or something? Yeah, something like that. Before we start, a little bit about this car. Um, it is a stock standard bottom end, so it's at a 2JZ GTE. It's a 1998 Supra, so it's got the VVTi on it. Uh, this engine's been out and it was uh, overhauled by GT Auto Garage. The block itself hasn't been changed, but the head's been rebuilt. I mean, we've got a Hypertune intake manifold going to a nice big fat Hypertune intercooler on the intake side. 2200cc injectors, a large Hypertune fuel injector rail. Under there, we've got R35 GDR coil packs. On the exhaust side, we have a six boost manifold that's been customized to accommodate this 60 mil wastegate, a turbo smart 60 mil wastegate, of course. GCG Garrett GTX 3584RS turbo. Um, a PWR cooling system. A beautiful uh, prototype this one was, so that is available now, but I love that thing. Uh, we got the turbo smart blower valve. Turbo Smart Fuel Pressure Regulator, uh, dual in tank wall bros, and the ECU is a Haltech Elite 2500, which is currently plugged into Dave's laptop there, uh, so we can get some readouts and tweak things if that's necessary. 
So in the head, its stock was built by Next Level Motorsport. Uh, just down the road here, uh, aside from uh, some cams, which are a Kelford 272-278, uh, they have 9.95 millimeters of lift. Uh, the exhaust system on this car, straight off the GDX 3584 turbo. It is a three and a half inch system down there. Um, now, another thing that you guys may say that's not a fair test is uh, a lot of people run screamer pipes. This has got a 60 mil wastegate, but this one is actually plumbed back into the exhaust. So you can't say that it's not a fair test because 100% of the exhaust gases are going to be going through the catalytic converter and out the exhaust itself. Now, this car is fairly loud, um, but it is probably legal. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely legal. It's road late registered. Yeah, yeah, it's legal. Um, so all the gases will be going through the exhaust. First test we'll do now. Let's see how much power it makes on a slightly reduced boost. What do you reckon, around 25 pound? Yeah. Okay. Um, 25 pound, can go up to 33, but there's no need. It's 40 odd degrees today yeah. as well. So I'm sweating like a pig. 41 in the dyno cell. 41 in the dyno cell. You need air conditioning in here. We do. Yeah. yeah. Do you leave the air cut on in the car? No. I would if it was mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so first test we'll do. Let's see how much power it makes without a catalytic converter. You may have noticed that while the engine's running, it's actually quite rattly. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the, it's got quite large race cams in it, uh, which have very long duration and a lot of lift. Uh, with a VVTi motor, which is uh, the late model, which is uh, the adjustable inlet cam, uh, it, it makes it uh, get quite noisy on there. We've tried to eliminate it by replacing the um, the variable valve timing cam gear, uh, hydraulics, as well as the solenoid, uh, and uh, it, it hasn't made any difference. So that's just something that comes part and parcel with running big cams. So before you wonder why it's all rattly, it's not tolerances or anything like that, it's just a problem. Well, it's not really a problem, it's just something that happens with uh, uh, big cams on a VBTI motor. So now that we've done the runs with uh, the DCAT test bike, time to take the test pipe out and uh, switch it over for the uh, X-Force high flow cap. You gonna guess it's gonna make any difference in power? It might be a little bit, but not much. Yeah? 10 horsepower? Maybe. Sure. Probably not noticeable when you're talking 800 horsepower. <laughs> when you have no traction. <laughs> so we did, what was it, 764? Yeah, somewhere. 764 horsepower on 25 pound with the uh, test pipe in it. Um, now let's see how much difference it is uh, with the cat. All right, so anyone that feels like they want to guess what sort of uh, power difference it's going to make, yeah. don't fast forward to the end. Just guess now. Make a comment in the, the section below. There are other variables today. Obviously the temperature's changed a bit, so we'll do our best to, to be consistent for you. Without it being an air-conditioned room, not much we can do about that. I've been trying to get Dave to air-condition this room for a while, but you know, he's, he doesn't want to borrow it. That's that big cat pipe. It's three and a half inch all the way through. 
which we'll soon change to four inch just because I want it to be louder. I'll go grab the other one. Now some catalytic converters have to go in a specific way, but this one being a high performance, high flow cap, it's actually the same both ways, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so, no cat, no. what did we get with the decat pipe? So, so there's about a 15 horsepower difference from, so, 5,750 onwards. Just again, a little bit of flow restriction with the cat. So, bottom end, you wouldn't notice that. No. Here, no. it's not until you actually start yep. getting to the max sort of flow. So that, would you think once we, because we plan on changing this to a four inch exhaust yeah. and a four inch cat, would that get even less of a difference? It'll, in... be, a le it'll be less than that again. Yeah. Because so, you're increasing your flow. But, um, yeah, I guess... So 15 for... and a half horsepower difference. Yeah. And but... about 15 Newton metres difference. So in all honesty, like with the lack of traction this car has got anyway, at that horsepower... It still runs 12s, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going by a real world, it should run in the 10s. Oh, it should, anyway. it'll, it'll get there. But, yeah, no, like, all in all, it's like, as you said, for not running a cat to running a cat and having, what is it, a $15,000 fine? It's a $15,000 fine from the EPA. Yeah. Okay. Most most cars, if they're done properly, you won't have any restriction from a cat. Yeah. Especially on ethanol and everything else. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a minimal difference. Okay. Um, yeah, so not all in all, good result. Still making pretty much the same horsepower as what it was yeah. from them. So we did actually detune it today because of how hot it was. Last time we did 847 horsepower at the wheels on 33 pounds, yeah. it? and we had eight pound less today. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just which is our street check, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been running while well, it's been on that for well, last time it was on the diner here was 12 months ago, yeah, just over 12 months. God, it feels by like a week, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel like <laughs> no, it's, it's, everything yeah. takes so much longer. Um, yeah, so now I think Sweet. the results pretty much is what I expected, street legal. Street legal. And only 15 horsepower lot. Yeah. Yeah. And a nice little retune and should get better upon me. Hopefully. Cool. Thank you very much. Cool. No all right. But all in all, there we go. Our result is oh. <laughs> our result is Dave's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think my camera I've now won two at once. Um, so uh, thanks to X-Force and GD Auto for making it best uh, possible, but now we have the results. It's not worth a $15,000 fine and you're only going to lose about 15 horsepower, which uh, we've seen. Um, no real difference in the bottom end, it wasn't until the top end that it made any difference whatsoever. And if you enjoy our super content, make sure you like and subscribe our channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get reminders when we upload our next bit. Alright, see you folks, thanks again. Ending up at your destination and absolutely <laughs> you guys are pricks <laughs> this is how hard it is to get work done while these people <laughs> while these people here anyway what are the other reasons <laughs> you just thrown me off <laughs>